Thank you guys for tuning in to SCG Filmmakers. And in this video, that's, that's my dog. You guys want to see it? I don't know if facial recognition works on dogs, does it? Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in to the SCG Filmmakers channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best reasons why you should be uploading your videos in 1440p or 4K. Coming up. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and we're gonna dive right into this by going into the top three reasons why I upload my videos in 1440p. And the first reason we're gonna go into is bitrate. So we're gonna go ahead and drop some information for you here on the screen. And this is coming straight from the YouTube uh, content creators website itself. So just to, um, just to let you know, this is not something that I came up with, typed up, Threw up on the screen and said, "Hey, this is you know, you know, check this out, guys. No, like no, this is literally coming off straight straight out of YouTube content creators uh, website portion. And if we just take a look at some of these stats here, just really really quickly, since we're since we're comparing 1080p versus 1440 and 2160, if we were to look at 1080p for 24, 25 frames per second and 30 frames per second is eight megabits." Per second so what basically that means is no matter what you do on your export settings YouTube is going to apply an 8 megabit per second kind of their version of the of the exported upload that you sent to them so just to kind of shed a little bit more light on what we are talking about um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro really quickly and I'm gonna go over some export settings that you may typically see on just an average um, export and we're just going to simply click uh, control M which opens up our export settings within our export settings we go into our output name we name it I'm not going to name it now because I'm not going to actually export it but uh, more importantly I want to direct your attention to basic video settings under the video tab and we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the bitrate portion since this is what we're talking about which is uh, the bitrate allocation. And the main part of this menu here that I want to direct our attention to is the video tab under the bitrate settings. Notice here, um, your target bitrate here is, is what I'm talking about. So no matter what number you put here, I know that um, you may have heard that if you just crank this up, you know, your video image quality will be just immaculately awesome. <laughs> but um, if we just, if we go back to the YouTube, um, kind of that their algorithm in terms of of uh, megabits per second we have a target bitrate of 8 megabits per second in 1080 so no matter if i have this set to you know 10 or even if i set this to 100 and then set my maximum bitrate to 110 it it really does or i can max these sliders out to 135 it really doesn't matter because as soon as you upload this exported video at a bit rate of 100 or at um, 135 it doesn't matter because what YouTube is going to do is go hey that's too much information for our servers you know we have over a hundred videos getting uploaded every you know every five seconds or whatever it is now I don't know what the stats are but um, we can't handle that information so what we're going to do for you is we're going to go ahead and drop this down to oh you have a 1080 video Hmm. Let's go ahead and drop that down to eight and let's go ahead and drop that down to eight as well Actually, the max is probably close to somewhere around 10 um, Because if you take a look at the megabits per second on the 2160 P We see that it's between 35 and 45. So it's all dependent um, These other megabits per second are also not constant So, you know the the lowest you'll get from 1080p is probably 8 and the highest 10 to 12 so now that coincidentally moves us right along into our second reason, which is image quality. The image quality that you're gonna get from uploading a 1440p um, video versus a 1080p video is potentially double because you have now doubled the megabit per second rate coming from the YouTube side because now you have 16 megabits per second allocated for your upload versus eight. So now if we go into our settings, if we go back into our settings, we can now increase this number here to 16 
and then on the maximum side we can now go somewhere around 20. so this is really interesting because now we can upload a, a higher bitrate video in essence and get potentially better video quality this is not you know in no way shape or form guaranteeing that your video quality will improve this all depends on how you shot it in camera um, whether you got your exposure settings correct in camera what camera you're shooting with to begin with there's a lot of variables that go into it but generally speaking um, you can have a higher megabit per second um, target bit rate by just simply choosing to upload a 2.7 um, K video which is 14 1440p now 1440p is it looks really really good if you actually have a 1440p monitor or a 4k monitor um, I'm pretty sure that you guys have experienced um, looking at videos in 1080 clicking on the little cogwheel switching it over from 1080 to 1440 and you ought, you notice just a huge difference in image quality and um, this is not only just because the resolution is higher but it is because like we look at and i'm going to keep referring back to this chart here it's because um, youtube has essentially given you you know double the amount of, of bandwidth for for that video okay now last but not least this is my third and final reason why i choose to upload uh, 1440p videos versus 1080 and this is <laughs> this is by far the best reason and i should have put this first but I, want, I wanted to save the best for last and it's primarily because the scalability scaling 1080p um, footage up to 1440 is nowhere near as strenuous as scaling it up to 4k many of us like myself love to film your your 120 frame per second video um, unfortunately with most prosumer cameras the highest resolution that you can film this footage in um, is in 1080p so uploading 4k footage from a 1080p clip and then upscaling it essentially four times you're stretching each each pixel out and you're asking that one pixel to stretch out four times the amount of what it was re originally recorded in in camera that is that's crazy man so if like if you were to actually think about that in terms of you know in camera and then into your uh, premiere pro final cut whatever it is you use to edit your videos that's doing just a lot of upscaling that is just simply upscaling you know all of your clips that are 120 way way out of my comfort level uh, personally not to mention that recording in 120 frames per second at 1080p is already a taxing thing for your camera to do because it's having to essentially process 120 frames you know per every second that goes by and you only have like like for myself i shoot in the a7 III, I'm only having 100 megabit per second and so with that speed it has to process 120 frames per second so with that naturally degraded footage you are then dragging it into a 4k timeline and then upscaling it four times you know breaking apart those pixels even more than than what you already asked them to do in camera and so scaling up 1080p up to 1440p is actually not that much of an upscale the image quality degradation is very negligible at that point and every single clip that i've upscaled from 1080p to 1440p look literally exactly the same as they do um, in 1080 so that would be my third reason would be the scalability and then not to mention all of your nice beautiful buttery 4k footage um, reduced down into 1080 is kind of that's kind of too much man it, I mean you kind of get to the point where your images get too sharp and so scaling that 4k that 2160p down to 1440p is not that much of a downscale either and so this number three reason is by far my most favorite um reason of all to upload your videos in 1440p is because of the scalability now last but not least guys i have to give at least one con for uploading videos in 1440p and the only reason that i could come up with was just your overall time in your workflow is increased but the trade-off for the increased image quality and the scalability compatibility is it far exceeds the the small amount of time that you're going to spend um, or the small amount of increase in time you're going to spend on your exporting and your actual editing within your timeline the best reasons why you should be uploading in 1440p is mainly because youtube 
allocates a higher bit rate in terms of transferring what you uploaded into what people are seeing. I know some of you out there may not necessarily have the tools available to you out there to record in something other than 1080, but it's just kind of food for thought in case you guys were planning on upgrading to a different camera that maybe records in 4K or in 2.7K. On this channel, we talk about various ways that you can increase your workflow without necessarily restricting your performance. And as always, if you guys are interested in seeing more content coming out of the STG Filmmakers camp, don't forget, or if you guys want to see my beautiful dog again, I don't know. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. It does make a difference. I appreciate y'all's support and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, now that's picking up ambient wind. I don't want that. If you guys are interested in sheing, 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 why do I keep saying that? Sheing. Really, dude? I'm trying to record here.